times a woodpecker pecks wood? We could count. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It says here that a woodpecker pecks 20 times in a second. I'll time us. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Time's up. Wow, we can't count nearly as fast as a woodpecker pecks. So why is it pecking? Is it eating the bark on the tree? Or is it digging for something in the tree? Hey, look! Whoa, it's got a beak full of bugs. That must be what it eats. Insects that live under the bark in trees. Yeah, but how do they get them out? Let's see. Well, what do you know? A woodpecker's tongue is long and sticky, so it can reach deep into trees and pull out insects. I'm having an engineering moment. Polos, back to the polo mobile. <laughs> sticky. So you've made a woodpecker tongue? Right. I'm gonna fish out whatever's making the rattle the same way woodpeckers get bugs out of trees with something long and sticky. Uh, uh, I think I got it! My maraca! I was looking for that! Thanks, Willow. Is that it? No more rattle? Only one way to find out. Chester, if there's no life on Mars, then what's that? Huh? <gasps> oh, Twax! Twax! Lucky! You're right, Nash. They can't be footprints. Unless whoever made them has really long feet. <gasps> Why can everyone understand Nash but me? Oh, maybe they're trails left by snakes slithering along the ground. Like this. <laughs> I know my vehicles, and these are definitely made by a vehicle. A Martian vehicle, driven by a Martian creature. <gasps> but there is no life on Mars that we know of yet. No water, remember? Then what made that? Come on, Polos, let's follow the track. Yeah! Whoa! Here we go, Polos. What's that up ahead? It is the tallest volcano in the solar system, called Olympus Mons. Whoa! Olympus Mons is ginormous! Stop! Look at that! Starting here, the tracks go all over the place. Whatever made them could have gone any direction. Let's get out there and try to see which way they went. Telescope! Telescope! Oh! Us here. It's their home, and they don't like unwanted visitors. Ah. Ah. Maybe that's why they live so high up in the trees. More room to swing. I read that they stay up in the trees to avoid predators on the ground. Instead, they do those amazing leaps from tree to tree. Well, we don't live in trees. So we better figure out a way to get down. Whoa! 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 We 
We've got to get out of this tree now! I've been thinking about that! We'll swing! Like spider monkeys! Yes! Polos, ready your climbing ropes! <laughs> 